Hello everyone, welcome to happymath.com. So today, we will use a frequency table and then find its probability value based on this problem here. Okay, so as you see, I have a table here. And then you see the, each class has a lower limit and upper limit. And then 1,000 people uh, take their ages here. Okay, so to make uh, finding probability easier, uh, it may be better to find out the relative frequency so the relative frequency means each frequency divided by total frequency so i'm going to find it so equal to uh, this number divided by 1000 then i'm going to copy this to until the end then always make sure that sum become one otherwise it is wrong probability so i double check this is one and it is correct okay so based on that we can find uh, this probability here. So probability uh, between 15 through 24, which is this first class here. So you can just make an equal sign and then take the RF value and that's the answer. Now, 25 through 54. So as you see, 25 to 34, but we don't have 25 to 54. So you need to extend the range here. So 54 and here. So you need to basically combine from the second class to uh, fourth class here, basically. Okay, so now equal to uh, this plus this plus this. Okay, or you can also do just click the auto sum button here and then click three um, the relative frequency column. Then you can see the same answer right there. Now at least thirty five. At least thirty five means thirty five or more. So this time I just make it equal to 35 or more so that plus this plus this plus this. Can do that. Or as I showed before, just uh, click the summation button and then make highlight uh, kind of a range here, then you can get the same as this. Now M most four. So M most four means M most 44, which means on the here. So you can just do equal to uh, this plus, this plus, this, Oops. plus, this plus, this, or you can also do or sum and then highlight until then, and we always get the same answer. Okay, so next part is we actually construct the frequency table. So we learned it before, but we just review it. And then uh, we want to just um, generate some probability question that we can solve it together. Okay. So uh, constructing frequency table, you need to find out minimum and maximum first. So minimum, maximum here. So minimum, you can just make equal, type min, then this is minimum value commander, and then highlight all this data. And maximum, the same thing, equal to max, and see, highlight all these things. Enter. Now you have like that. Okay, then now, from here, you, you will find out range. So range means always maximum minus minimum. So I just make maximum minus minimum here. And then class width. So class width means a uh, range divided by number of a class. So equal to range divided by this type of making six. So type six here, and it come out eight point something. So I can make nine here. Okay. Then from here I can make lower limit, upper limit. So lower limit always begin from minimum value. So I'm going to make it equal to minimum here. And second lower limit value is always uh, previous lower limit value plus class width, which is 9. So I item 9 here. Then now I continue to make all the six classes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now here, equal to, so this minus 1. So there's no overlap. Uh, between classes, and the idea on the here because 
even though we copy this algorithm one more time, we will get negative one because nothing is here. So instead, we continue. I'm going to make it equal to the previous one plus nine basically. Because um, uh, class width can be interval between lower limit, but it can also be become between interval between upper limit as well. So now we have upper limit. So then now you click data, and then data analysis, and click histogram. And input range means all this data. So I'm going to put all this data. And pin range means uh, upper limit. So I put upper limit here because I also include titles so or label. And I'm going to just see output on the same worksheet. So maybe around here. Enter. Then now we got upper limit and the frequency value. And we don't need more, so I'm going to leave more here. Okay. Then I'm going to copy this frequency value right here. So that's how you can uh, construct the frequency table so far. Then I'm going to make a um, few probability value based on that, and then come back really soon. So wait for me. So as you see here, I generate few uh, probability questions. So based on this frequency table, okay. Then now this table looks like what we have done right here. So what I want to do, I'm gonna find out uh, total frequency first. So which means I click under frequency column and then click all the sum, and it will give you for the sixth data. Now RF, the so relative frequency, that become each frequency divide by total frequency so now I, we have it here like that and then copy down like this also I, I want to make sure uh, they are probably equal to 1 so when I do that they equal to 1 which means we have right probability value okay so based on that uh, let's solve the question here okay so now first of all so probability between 24 to 32 here, which is equal to basically this uh, second class here. So click enter, then that's the answer. And 30 through, through 59, so 33 here, 59 here basically. So now we can do equal 33 to 59. So we combine like that. Or as I told you, you can click the order sum and the highlight the three columns as well. Then you will get the same answer. And at least 42. At least 42 means 42 or bigger, basically. So it will be this three column here. So equal to all that plus this, this. You can do this way. Or you can also click order sum and then make this three column. Okay, and at most 59, at most 59 means uh, 59 will be the maximum. So maybe on here basically from the beginning to until here. So you combine all these percentage value. Okay, then that equal to so plus plus like that. Or you can also do the order sum by all this the same answer basically but here there's actually we have one more case we can do so at most 59 means you know we only uh, exclude this this part here and then we know that total sum must be equal to one therefore you may also calculate equal to one minus this last class uh, probability value then you can also get the same answer okay so anyway so this time, uh, we talk about how to find the probability using frequency table. Then also, we construct a frequency table and then uh, generate some probability value and then find the answer. I really hope this uh, video helped you how to find probability value based on frequency table. And then I will see you again with different videos. All right. Thank you. Bye.